37 years of inspiration and counting. And now you can read all about the death of this woman's life in a book called The Elsie Blumenthal Fetterman Story. And here with me is Elsie. Elsie, how are you? I am absolutely great. Every day's a <laughs> bonus, a bonus. <laughs> I love that. All right, we, sh we should say that you were at News 8 in 1966. What did you do here then? From 1966 to 79, I had a television program here, WTMH, called Speaking for the Consumer. I represented the University of Connecticut at that time. And we there were a lot of consumer laws came out at that time. And so I did an interpretation of your right to cancel contracts with the Truth in Lending, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, all the Magnuson Moss Warranty Law. So it was focused in on all the consumer laws that were passed. So you helped a bunch of people. All right, you grew up in Danielson, Connecticut. Your family owned a hardware store. Is that where you learned that hard work was good? Well, I was so proud at seven years old that I knew accounts receivable and I knew accounts payable and I knew about galvanized pipe and I knew about nails. I never thought much about the fact that I was only seven. <laughs> you know, but I, I sure learned a lot by being in that hardware store and you couldn't get help in those days. And so I was doing bookkeeping on the second floor. My father would yell, front, front, front. That meant take care of that customer before they walk out the door. And now you go into a store, you can't find a clerk at all. <laughs> and so I got used to it, making sure engaging conversation at seven years old. How's your family? You are such an inspiration to so many. It's just part of you, of who you are, <laughs> um, by what you do, and you help others all the time. For young people coming up, what would you say to them? What kind of philosophy do they have to adopt to get through this life? Unfortunately, I think parents are giving their children too much with no expectation for college. I mean, they get a car, a computer, and they don't have to work for it. I think, I think having a job, no matter how old you are, even though I was only seven years old, that, that helped me because I knew I had to manage time. I had to make sure I still got straight A's in school. I had to make sure I got the accounts receivable up. Is Make, get a job, you know, and keep track of your money. The other thing is money management. Any other piece of advice to give to the viewers that will be watching this? I think the way you approach the word attitude, the word attitude, what is it you can do? Instead of dwelling on all the negatives, what are the, even as one gets older, instead of dwelling about you know, my, for example, my head wants to do a million things and the body doesn't want to cooperate. <laughs> so I, that's okay. I learned how to delegate some things and I'm still, oh, why I got my driver's license for another five years. I could drive for it until I'm 102. I love that uh, for you, Elsie. Uh, everybody has to have some positive things in their life. Everybody. Look at what is positive. What is it can you do? What is it you can do? We've all had negative things happen. I mean, there's no one who hasn't had it. And instead of dwelling on those, this is a song, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative. Elsie, well said. It is the Elsie Blumenthal Fetterman story, and boy, is it one. It's terrific. Thank you so much for being here. It was such a pleasure to meet you. Oh, thank you so, so much. It's so wonderful. And if you'd like to know more about Elsie Blumenthal and her life, go to WTNH.com or the News 8 app.